Hi guys. All right, well, um, I'm here at a nest box. I guess I'll, I'll show you the actual box later, but um, I'm gonna do what, um, what's called a banding. Um, I'm gonna put, I don't know if you can see this, there's like a tiny little silver band in there. Um, all of these silver bands have uh, number sequences on them. And we use them to identify the little baby birds. And um, if you can see here, I've got like a, a bag you would use maybe to like wash your delicates, like tights and shit like that, but it's filled with baby birds! Oh my god! But um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna put bands on them, um, we're gonna weigh them, here's my, my fancy digital scale, um, and a baby sock, which uh, we put the birds in so they don't run away while they're on the scale and this is this is a tool that we use to measure a part of their leg called the tarsus for some reason tarsus measurements are are important so we take them all right well I'm gonna start let's take one of these guys out of here at random just whatever Here's one. Oh, he just pooped on me. They poop a lot. But, yeah, here he is. Here he is. He's very angry. He's very angry. But he's not hurt. Yeah, I don't want, like, some representative of PETA to find this video and think that I, like, spend all my time torturing birds. Ooh. here if you want to see that that's a nest box this is like a trap door um, when we catch the adults what we do is there's a stick right here we take that out um, that's what locks it open so that it doesn't come shut on them but um, we take that out and we um, attach a string to this side of it see it, it goes through here um, and then yeah we'll like go back in the woods and, and sit and wait and then they'll fly in and we'll pull the trap door shut and then we'll go up with our little delicates bag and grab the adult out. Hi there. If you're wondering why I have my shirt over my head like this, it's because I'm currently being attacked by a very aggressive male wren who's trying to protect his young from me because I just took them all out of the nest because I'm going to do another banding. But, oh shit, yeah, he's like, he's trying to get me. Check him out. You see him? He's so pissed off. He's so pissed. If you, if you stare him down, he won't go for you. It's just when you're looking away. Whoa, or not. Or maybe he's just that aggressive. Oh yeah, he just wants to peck my eyes out so badly. Yeah. Oh, he's so mad. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed Angry Wren. I hope I got, like, at least a couple shots of him. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I gotta, like, get down on the ground. He's totally, like, 
he's out of control. Out of control. At the bottom of the S line, you get a pretty cool, uh, unique look at the, the Mackinac River. Check out that cliff face, yeah? I mean, that's about... I mean, you gotta, you gotta remember we're in, like, the flattest part of Illinois, and there's still, like, there's still stuff like this to look at here. Get a little closer. Move all this foliage out of the way. You can see, like, I don't know if you can, if the camera's picking it up, because this is kind of like a janky little camera, but there's a really cool, like, dam down there. I'm trying to get a shot of that. I don't know if you can see that down there. Isn't that neat? I wish I could zoom. But yeah, it's pretty much it's pretty much the shit. But yeah, you can see like the tree line on the other side of the river is just like way higher. Yeah, that's where the trees start on the other side. I don't know if you can tell, but that's like, that's like 30 feet above where I'm standing on the other side right now. Whoa. Great job. Hey, it's getting a little bit late in the morning and here I am in zone two, which is a little bit drier than the area I was in earlier this morning. As you can see. Yeah. Um, but the reason I'm filming right now is that um, I stumbled upon the J line, and on the J line there's this tree that has this like tumor on it. Like, check it out. <laughs> Look at that tumor, man. Isn't that crazy? It looks like a butt. Looks like a butt with like a leaky anus. It's just growing on this tree, like randomly. Like there's nothing else the matter with it except for this, like, huge growth. I wonder what that is. I wonder if it's like has tree cancer and it's just gonna die or something. I mean, if you look up, I don't know if you can see it because this, this, again, this camera is crap, but. Um, this tree, the one with the, the weird growth, it has like a bunch more like yellowish dying leaves on it and, and crap. So maybe it, maybe it is cancer. Maybe, maybe this tree is terminal. I'm gonna put my healing hand on the butt and give it some positive energy so that it might heal itself. There you go, tree. Ew, the bark even feels like weird and nasty, ugh. Yep, I just touched a tree tumor. It's delicious. Yeah, so, um, check out this spider I almost ran into. You see it? Isn't that gnarly? That is a spider, man, that red thing? That's a freaking spider. Oh! Oh, it's so gnarly. It's so big and gnarly. Oh, there it is. So big. Yep, I just got back from the field and as you can tell, I'm pretty exhausted. Um, I had a very long day today. If I could just show you here, here's my map. Here's a map of like the entire study area. This is like everywhere we go. So if you think about it, I mean, even straight shoot, that's a bit of a walk, but considering that in this whole middle area there, the zone three, that I went up and down each line, you know, and then over here, like, went up and down for at least, like, part of this area here. It's quite a lot! It's quite a lot of walking. Oh, my legs are really tired, but, you know, it's good exercise, and I get to be out in the forest, so it's well worth it. Peace!